Is there something you wanted me to talk about tonight? I said I'd sit with you and answer questions if you wanted. Flow is what dissolves the illusion of duality and reveals the total unity of everything. Within ourselves, flow is what internalizes appropriately all of our experiences and is continuously delivering from the deepest, wellest place within us, delivering health throughout the entire physiological mechanism. So, on the physical level, flow is what makes us healthy. On the interpersonal level, flow is what brings abundance into our life. And on the highest level, flow dissolves the appearance of delusion and reveals the, the, the singular truth that we're pure awareness, that everything is pure awareness. Well, resentment is, remember I gave that talk about anger a yeah. few weeks ago. I mean, anger, resentment, grudges. You're only hurting, I mean, people who, any resentment, any anger, any, any grudge against anybody for any reason, any reason, it's just poisoning you. It's not, po not affecting anybody else. It's like, Anger is the dumbest thing, you know. And we, I, I was talking with Taylor this morning, and he brought up a quote that I'm aware of uh, by Socrates, which I'm not going to repeat because I won't get it right. But basically, it's like this. Rather than resenting, resisting, being angry at, fighting, you know, any tensions, you know, focus your energy on what is true and good and growing. Don't fight the old, create the new. And even in our relationships with people, I mean in every relationship is forever compli complicating itself, you know, even as we work to uncomplicate it, this is just the nature of the thing. You know, focus on, on all of the, the best parts, the richest parts, the sweetest parts of our interactions with everyone. See the good in everybody and grow that in yourself and among you and all the people you share your life with. Resentment to anyone is just like, say what? What does resentment have to do with opening your heart? Well, it, it's an obstacle to opening your heart. Anger is an obstacle to opening your heart. And you know, I kind of view anger and resentment as like, it's like being constipated. You know, there's no flow. It's like being constipated. So, after a while, what does that make you? Totally full of shit. In the words of my recently deceased father, fuck that. <laughs> Being a human being in case you haven't noticed, is messy. It's just messy. And it's not like 
we intend it to be messy. It just is. It, you know. I can't remember exactly the example now because I have about 20 of them a day, but there was like some miscommunication and something went, didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. It worked out some other way. This is, this is what life is. So you're going to be walk around being pissed about that all day? All year? All your whole life? I mean, come on. And maybe, you know, maybe people that you love have hurt you, and maybe they aren't able to rise to the occasion and, you know, like make a change that allows the flow again. Okay, fine. If they can't, they can't. Why should you be pissed about that? That's not your problem. There was a quote I saw the other day by somebody, maybe it was, I don't know, some Buddhist. The quote was, happiness is the path. And my t the way I have always explained that is, our job is to every single day, our work, our practice is every single day to open our hearts and connect to the finest place within ourselves and from that place be fully present in every experience that we that that presents itself to us and as we are present what we will discover is a flow and in staying present with that flow, what we will realize is that everything is interconnected in ways more subtly profound than we have access to with our mind and our senses. You can't be angry and full of resentment or even holding any resentment to anybody and be happy. That resentment is continuously going to, you know, reach up from out of the ground and grab hold of your foot and drag you down. So, let it go. Kiss that donkey and forget about it. Well, that's, you know, kiss that ugly thing that you're holding, that you've been holding on to for a long time and then leave it. Practice, 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 <laughs> darling. It's, it is, it is not complicated. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into your heart. The one book that Rudy actually ever said that he read and liked was The Secret of the Golden Flower, which is a Taoist text translated by, that you know, was promoted by Carl Jung. I don't know if he translated it or not, but he, I think it said he translated it. But anyway, Carl Jung was involved with the secret of the golden flower. And very simply, the idea there, it's a, practice, it's a Taoist practice text. The goal is transformation, and the methodology is bring so much energy into your heart that it shines out ever increasingly more brightly. So it's a question of just, you, you cultivate breath awareness, and your heart will open ever more deeply. The double breath that, you know, you got taught the first day you were here is a very powerful tool for opening your heart. You know, that breathing exercise, interestingly, is also a part of Nine Palaces Qigong, and it is, you know, a, 
a, a fifth level transformation practice, part of a fifth level transformation series. Flow doesn't do this. Flow does this. And flow doesn't get in your head. Flow gets out of your head. Flow goes places you can't think. It exists in a dimension in you that is beyond your mind. And in fact, Rudy used to say, the mind is the slayer of the soul. And why did he do that? Why did he say that? Because it is the mind that takes flow and turns it into tension. So let's go back to the drawing board and let's do our practice, 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 and just simply be aware of the natural flow of your breath, which you know, will reveal to you the breath within the breath, and you will be in that moment completely beyond your body and your story. Very nice to be with you all this evening. Thank you for being here. I will see you soon. <laughs>